All right, today we're going to be doing some base painting. Specifically, we're going to be doing tiled bases. And these are for the game Malifaux. You may have noticed recently I've been doing a few Malifaux videos. So I'm prepping up to do a few more minis. So I'll need to paint these up in some sort of creepy hospital fashion. So if you're wondering what these are, these base toppers are from a company called Custom Meeple. And they are these kind of like laser cut cardboard inserts that go in the... Uh, tops of the bases that come with Malifaux minis. And to get started, we're going to prime all of our bases with some Steinal Res Black Primer from Badger. And this will cover up both the uh, plastic base, the edges, as well as the top where we've glued down the base topper. Now the base topper has just been glued down with simple super glue. Nothing special, nothing fancy, and we're starting from the prime step here just so you can see the detail that's already on the base. We're going to work with that detail as we go, so just keep that in mind. Once we have these all primed up, we're actually going to set them to the side for a little bit and let them cure. I like to let my Steinal Res Primer cure for at least 30 minutes, if not a few hours, just to make sure it's nice and durable. All right, now that we're back, we're going to break out our first color. This is going to be Caspian Blue from Scale 75 Scale Color Line. And we're actually going to go in with our hand brush. So this will be the this will probably be the most tedious part of this process overall, especially because we've got a lot of area to cover. But what you'll notice is I go in and I block out the individual squares and I alternate them in a checkerboard pattern. Um, I'm just using the edges where they've been cut as a guideline, which kind of helps me keep in the lines, but you'll still want to be careful. And I, you'll notice that I rotate them around to get different angles and edges. So I just kind of run down the sides, run along the top, rotate it and repeat. We don't need to get the most coverage we could potentially get out of a paint, but we do need to make sure that we've gotten most of the tile itself covered and nice and blue. So you can kind of see how I'm going about this. We'll skip ahead just a little bit. All right, now that we've finalized blocking in all of these tiles, it's taken me a little bit of time, but not too much. We're working on eight bases total. We're actually gonna break out the airbrush for our next steps. So first of all, we'll get out our bearing blue. This is again from Scale Color. I really like these line of blues from them and they make for a very nice desaturated tone when we work together. So what you'll notice that I'm doing is I'm going to each individual tile that we painted blue and I'm hitting the center of it with a very slow, very kind of easy, easy blend, easy gradient, kind of right in the center of each tile. Now, I am trying to avoid as much overspray into the black tiles as possible. However, that's not going to be completely clean. This is a great time to practice your dots and your circles, just like with a lot of airbrush warmups and just kind of focus in on those and start your air before you hover over the base and then pull back on the trigger when you're over the area. If you're wondering, yes, I do thin down my paints in the airbrush. I'm using a bit of Vallejo Flow Improver, about a one-to-one -one to a two to one mix of flow improver to paint here just to make sure that this comes out nice and thin. We gotta make sure that it dries on the model and we don't push our paint around. Take it really easy and really light at this point. There's no need for full coverage. We're just trying to shade in the middle of these and we've got one more airbrush step left on these blue tiles.
All right, next up, we're going to do the same thing, this time with Arctic Blue. This is going to be the final phase of our blue tiles, and we're literally going to hit the centers of the areas that we just hit, and we're going to take it just a little bit easier than on the previous step, but this will give us a nice, very light blue color. Begin with the overspray, not a worry. I'm even getting the little areas where there are kind of partial tiles here and getting some overspray on the edge of the rim. We will take care of that before we're finished. A little bit more aggressive about hitting the partial tiles with this step just to make sure that they show up. One thing I did not quite capture in this video is there's a slight touch up on the black panels after we apply this arctic blue where we apply some dark warm gray to the black panels in a very similar fashion. Uh, you might notice a slight shift it's very subtle, you could potentially skip this step. All right, we'll get out some of our Army Painter Matte Black, and this is where we go in and darken in the edges of the bases as well as the individual tiles. So wherever we may have some overspray, just go ahead and hit it with some of that matte black, make sure it's nice and blocked in. If you have something else that you like using for black, like Vallejo Model Color, whatever works, we just want a nice flat tone here. All right, we're gonna hand brush in a couple of colors here. We're gonna get our bearing blue and arctic blue back out. These are the same two paints that we just airbrushed. And we're gonna use these to give some depth to the individual tiles, specifically the blue tiles. So we're gonna hit two of the sides and we're gonna make those match across each base. And we're gonna hit the edges where there may be chips or dings or cracks along the tiles with a blend of bearing blue up to a pure arctic blue kind of hitting that arctic blue right on the point of each of those tiles. So just slowly work this. This is almost like an edge highlight sort of thing. You'll want a nice tight brush to get in there and get a nice thin line. And you can use a little bit of the depth from where they've been cut as a way to help that out. This part does take a little bit of time and a little bit of patience, but I am going to skip ahead and cut out a few intermediate minutes here, but I wanna show you a couple of different examples of where I mentioned like the cracks and the edges. I should also mention that we wanna hit the cracks of the black tiles as well, but we're actually gonna hit those with something a little bit less intense. We're gonna use mostly bearing blue on those.
All right, once you're happy with all of the edge highlighting, just check over everything, block in anything that might need a touch up here and there, and you can go ahead and hit it with a varnish. And now that we've got them all done, they're ready for some minis to be mounted to them. Thank you so much for joining me again this week. Hopefully you enjoyed this. We'll be back again next week with some more painting tutorials. Until then, enjoy some painting.